Okay, so first thing I want to cover is, oh, let's see, resolution, okay? And to employ resolution, I want to kind of use the internet because students do this all the time. They go on the internet, they find a picture, and they use it in some kind of print publication. I highly suggest doing that, but, you know, sometimes you you have no choice but to look for something on the internet because, you know, it might be an odd thing that you're looking for. So I'm going to show you right off the hand how to do that the right way. Okay, let's go to Google. And in Google, let's go to Images, and let's do a search for, oh, P-O-T. Portraits. And, well, I butchered that spelling, but there we go. Thank God Google can spell for me, right? Okay, so right offhand, I'm going to grab something here, and I'm going to grab two things. One, I'm going to grab a picture of a low-res object. And I really like... We'll go with this girl right here. And you can grab any one off the first page. Doesn't really matter. Copy image. And let's go into Photoshop real quick and go edit or file new. Leave everything alone. Notice these numbers here 400 by 533 and hit OK. Now edit paste. OK, there we go. There's that one. Now let's go back to the internet and pick out another picture. This time up on top, change it to extra large images. Okay, and we'll choose maybe this one. We'll copy image and let's go back to Photoshop. File, New. Notice the numbers. This number didn't change, but these numbers got bigger. Okay. Edit, Paste. Okay, now if you click this button, we could put two pictures side by side. Also, let's make it so mine looks like yours. Window, Workspace, Default Workspace. Now I have the Navigator. On the first picture, zoom in on her face. On this one, zoom in on her lips, just like the same one. Okay, can you see a difference here? The difference is this. In this picture, it's starting to break up just like it would like an old video game, like an 8-bit or 16-bit video game. And in this picture, many, many dots per inch. So, that being said, resolution is just that. It's the ability to pack in more dots per inch. So when you go to image, image size, you can see that this has a lot of resolution because these numbers at the top are large. It's not these. These are real world measurements. These are the resolution resol or pixel dimensions. Now the resolution has a lot to do with this. Okay, so I'm going to make two more documents. File, new. I'm going to make a document, let's say this, right off the bat, in 72 dots per inch. File, new. And this one I'm going to make 300 dots per inch. Okay, so just to kind of illustrate what this picture looks like, if I went to click it into this picture right here, the 72 dots per inch, it fits, okay? But if I go to put it in this frame, and I'm just clicking the background and dragging it over, so I'm going to click her and drag her back over to this one, it fits, okay? This one, but if you look, what changed here? 
Okay, this one's 4 by 6, right? Well, I'm sure it was much bigger than that. So let's go to image size, 16 by 25. So, resolution is very confusing. It's one of those things that it, this is a 4 by 6 picture, and it's as clear as the like uh, 13 by 14 or whatever this was because there is more resolution here so if we were to like say make a document of the same size image size so this is 16 by 25 okay so I'm gonna just go to inches 16 by 25 okay good is it okay and file new inches now if I change this to 300 see 16 by 25 is there sixteen by twenty five by three hundred dots per inch now and make sure this one's okay image size sixteen by twenty five one last time will I drag this girl over to some weird document this one she fits of course Okay. This little guy right here. Notice how small that is. Okay, but if you zoom in on it, it's still as clear. But now I have more document space, more pixels per inch. So the things I do like with uh, digital illustration or digital painting, sometimes I have them absolutely huge at the end. Um, because I have more dots per inch and therefore it looks less raster. Alright, so we'll get into raster and vector and the comparison between the two in the next few chapters here when I show you how to like convert raster to, te um, to vector. Alright, so on to the next video.